Hey, what's up, you guys? The AK-47's here, and uh, look who I got. Amber's back. <laughs> um, so a lot of y'all, even since I first brought her home, were requesting that I do a walk around and mods kind of video. Um, and I apologize really quickly for this being on my GoPro because I hate shooting stuff like this with my GoPro, but my phone is completely full and my camera, the autofocus noise is annoying as crap with the lens that I want to use for it. So I'm using my GoPro, but I'm shooting it in 2.7K. So hopefully that'll make up for it. But it is time to do my walk around and kind of uh, mods list and stuff like that of my R1. And I have, hopefully this will like light correct for you guys, like exposure correct, but I have my big list here of my mods. So it's a long list, it's gonna be a long video, but it's a sweet bike. So without further ado, got my flashlight, and uh, we're gonna get to this. So first things first, um, if y'all can see in here, we got my golden headlight rings that go around the, the low beam bulbs on both sides. Um, it gives it just kind of like a, a really cool angel eye kind of effect look. I like it a lot. Um, got the golden forks. So you got gold forks. And by the way, my bike is dirty as crap right now because I just got it back from the shop. But gold forks. And you got the gold wheels on it too. They're dirty as crap, like I just said. But gold wheels, which look really nice. Then you got the tinted windscreen up here. I don't really know the brand, but it does give you a good bubble of air protection there. It's a pretty good windscreen. I really like it. It's easy to duck down and get under. Uh, next thing you can't really see very well, but up there, that's my aftermarket radiator. So it doesn't have the stock radiator and it has an aftermarket radiator. Um, then we have up here, if you can see in here, we have my Yamaha steering damper down there, which is nice. And then we have steel braided uh, front brake lines, as you can see. And we also have steel braided rear brake lines, as you can see. So those are always nice. And then we got, what else we got? All right. We have the gold ASV unbreakable levers. So they bend out so they don't snap off. And they also have a lifetime warranty, so if you ever break them, then they just send you a new pair. And we have Gold Rizoma brand grips. They are the actual Rizoma brand. Let me see if I can find the Rizoma logo on them. There you go. You can see that. I'm not sure you can see that or not. But So we got both of those, which are very nice. Then we got <coughs> these uh, flush mount turn signals right here. They're by uh, Hot Bodies. They're the uh, Hot Bodies flush mount turn signals. They're really nice. Um, see if I can. Yeah, there you go. So that's what they look like. So we got the Hot Bodies turn signals. And then we got, what else we got? All right, so we got these. Right here, I don't know if you can see them, you got these quarter turn fairing bolts all over the place. So like all over the place are the quarter turn bolts instead of actual screws. So if you need, if you need to take something off, you just lift it up like that and turn it. And then it's just literally like a quarter turn. So now you just do that and now it's out. There's the bolt. Then turn it back in, put it in, turn it, push the thing back just really, really makes it easy for you to take fairings off very quickly, no tools required, instead of having bolts like this everywhere, where you have to get the tools out and screw them in, all that kind of stuff. So, we got those, and then my dog wanted to say hi, I guess. Hey, dog. <laughs> She's scared of my bike. All right, so then we got <clears throat> the carbon fiber accents, which we got the carbon fiber right here along the intakes. Like the ram air tubes right here we got the carbon fiber right there and we have the carbon fiber up here in the cockpit area 
which then goes up under here by the dash on both sides, as well as comes down on the other side over here, and then back down over this way. So we got those carbon fiber accents right there, as well as under in here, this whole front piece right here is all carbon fiber as well. It's dirty from the rain, but this is all carbon fiber in here as well. Uh, and then we go back here. All right, and then we got these R1 block off plates up here, these mirror block off plates. Uh, and I have the original mirrors over here as well as the seat and the foot pegs for the rear seat. But we got the R1 block off plates and we got this uh, golden bar end mirror right here, which is really nice. It bends, you know, forward, backwards, all this kind of good stuff. So really nice bar end mirror. All right, come on over here again. Um, okay. Getting into protection now. We got these frame sliders. Um, I do not know the brand of frame sliders that these are, but I really, really like them. Really sturdy frame sliders. Look really nice. And then over here, you know, I have my across racing engine sliders, which are also very nice, as well as the frame sliders. Got the across racing engine sliders. Very nice. Here, we have the gold Yamaha gas cap. Up here, this is gold. This is not silver, even though it kind of looks silver in the camera. This is gold. Uh, we have the gold nut up here in the triple tree. And then we have the gold oil fill plug right here, as well as the gold axle sliders, axle plugs. Then we got the driven swing arm spools, gold swing arm spools. And even everything up here, like these braided lines going to gold connectors and all that kind of stuff. Got golden frame bolts right here, frame mount, swing arm mount bolts. And we have golden Yamaha tank logos on the tank right there. So those are also nice. Golden clutch adjustment wheel right there, the clutch, the clutch cable adjustment wheel is golden. We have the gold ring around the tachometer up there on the dash. And then we have what are called pro bolts. We have golden pro bolts all over the place. There goes my flashlight. All right, well, that sucks. Let me get my, uh... oh, there we go. All right, so got the golden pro bolts down there, up here. Basically, everywhere where there's not one of these uh, quick turn connectors is replaced with a pro bolt. So all up in here and there. Uh, all up in here on these things, back on that, down here, all these are pro bolts. So those are really high quality bolts, like really high quality bolts and they're golden. And then you know, some of the other ones are also gold titanium bolts. Um, we got the clear pro grip tank protector right there. As well as, and I'm not going to take my seat off, but we have a um, speedo healer in here as well as a power commander in there under the seat I'm not going to take those off though and then we have a minus one uh, counter shaft sprocket so a minus one sprocket up front the back is uh, stock gearing okay and then we have the let's see the best way to do this okay the right side we have the uh, blue Samco hoses throughout the whole thing. You can see them up in there. Yeah, the whole, all the hoses ever have been replaced. I don't know if you can see that one over there too. But all the hoses have been replaced with the same co hoses, the blue hoses, which are upgraded and they're very nice. And they add a nice uh, cosmetic touch to the bike as well as performance type um, touches. Okay, so we got that. All right, and then we got the big things, which are these full carbon fiber Yamaha belly fairings right here. There's one on each side and these are real carbon fiber, the entire thing. 
you can see the you can see the carbon fiber weave very 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 nice also expensive but very nice and then we have the gold Sato racing rear sets the fully adjustable gold rear sets with the Brembo right there which looks really nice so you got this full adjustment really nice pegs right here all these little holes that you can see are all adjustments even more so on the uh, on the shifter side but all those <clears throat> and then I'll go over to the shifter side and show you those so you can see all the holes for the adjustments that you can do really 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 clean looking very expensive rear sets and you get the big gold shift rod up here you can switch to MotoGP shift very very easily without even changing the linkage up here you just have holes that you can swap out very nice got some more pro bolts over here and obviously we have this uh, carbon fiber front counter sprocket cover which prevents literally anything from touching your front sprocket I mean it goes way back in here and it coats the entire thing and it's way down in there so I mean this literally prevents anything from touching your counter shaft sprocket which is really nice it's a little bit takes a little bit longer to take off when you're adjusting your uh, your uh, front sprocket or taking your chain off or something like that but it's definitely definitely worth it and it looks sweet it gives it that closed off look which is really nice you got a golden chain on here as well. It's more of a bronze chain, but needs to be cleaned just because it just got it back from the shop. Then we come back to the back here, and we have the fender eliminator. Obviously, there's no fender up there. Plates move down here. It's relocated under the seat down here. Uh, we have the dual exhaust delete, which is obviously the most noticeable thing about the bike is there's not dual exhaust coming up down through here up back here and up through the tail. It's a shorty mount carbon fiber GP exhaust down here, which is really nice sounding. It sounds great. You can see, I mean, it, it is just gutted. It is literally nothing in there, nothing at all. Very nice exhaust though. It sounds great. It does not sound straight piped. Like it doesn't sound trashy. It doesn't sound disgusting or like really obnoxiously loud. It just has a very, very good tone to it. Uh, and then back here, we have this carbon fiber rear hugger, which goes from this side in the rear hugger all the way into this chain guard right here. So carbon fiber chain guard, which is very nice. And then you also have this swing arm right here, which might look a little bit different to you guys than normal because normally there's a huge hole in this thing and you got a bunch of little other, you know, brackets and stuff like that on it from the stock swing arm. This is not the stock swing arm. This is a GP swing arm. So this entire swing arm has been fabricated um, and it's a custom aftermarket GP swing arm, which looks really nice. It's very sturdy, very stable, very solid. And it, it just adds such a nice look to the back of the bike without having that big hole right in the middle of the swing arm right there. I mean, it just looks really, really cool. There's, there's a bunch of people that have asked me, like, what looks different about my bike, you know, other than all, all the carbon fiber and the gold accents and everything. And that's the biggest thing is people don't notice that that's a closed swing arm and it's a GP swing arm. And once I tell them that, they're like, oh, that's exactly what it is. Because the GP swing arm just adds that really nice touch to it. So we have the integrated smoke tail light, which I'll show you here. So obviously it has some dirt on it, but it's smoked and there's no turn signals obviously hanging off of it. And I'll turn it on really quick for you. So you can see that's what it looks like. Then if you turn the turn signal on, it has the sequential integrated turn signals, which look really nice. So, and you got your high beams, but 
can't see those until you turn the bike on. So I got that. And then, like I said, it has the Power Commander 5. Um, I have the OEM rear seat cowl on it, which looks nice. I really like this little like pad kind of look to it, and it's not just all plastic. But that looks really nice. Um, it has new Iridium spark plugs. Um, it has the EXUP delete, like the XUP delete. And then it has um, Graves velocity stacks under the tank. Again, which I'm not going to obviously take the tank off to show you. But it has Graves velocity stacks. It just got... Excuse me for mess here. Uh, just got oil filter, new AMS oil, new oil or uh, new antifreeze, new coolant, new spark plugs, new stator gasket covers, and all that good stuff. So that is it for my walk around, guys. There is a absolute crap ton of stuff, and honestly, I probably forgot something. Um, I couldn't tell you what it was, but I probably forgot something. And uh, I have a nice blue hose up here for my front brake fluid, which is nice. But got all these Brembo mounts for your for your brakes, and down here again for this brake, you have a Brembo mount right there, which is nice. I believe, honestly, also. I believe that suspension spring is aftermarket as well, and it's it's a different uh, suspension setting than it comes stock because my bike feels different than everybody else's with suspension. So I think that's been adjusted, and it's it's not stock. But I can't say that for sure, so I'm not including that into my definite mods list. But anyway, guys, that seems like it's it. Um, other than that, I get asked a lot of time what uh tires I run. I run the uh, Sport Max Road Smart 2s. I love these tires. I absolutely love these tires. It's the, uh, the Sport Max Road Smart 2. Well, that is my R1. That is my bike. I know this is a really long video, but y'all wanted to see all the mods. So I gave you a video of the mods. <laughs> but it's a very, very, very clean bike. Down here, you got the gold adjustments on the calipers there as well. Just really, really clean. Not a scratch on the thing, really, at all. Other than just like, you know, like little parts of the decal missing like right there. But that's literally it. There's no scratches on it or anything like that. Just very, very clean bike. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you later. Adios, guys.